There's been a lot of talk about how the Dallas Mavericks defended Tyrese Maxey during the Sixers' last game, so I took a look at all 34 ball screens and dribble handoffs here in, starting with this first one where Derek Jones tries to meet him at the level, but he's flat-footed and Maxey blows by him for a layup, and then the next time down, the Sixers are going to run a double drag set for Maxey, but he sees Josh Green duck under that first screen, so he just pulls early from three, and the Sixers are off to a good start. The next maxi ball screen is where we're going to see the first sign of trouble, as the Dallas Mavericks send two defenders to him, and Maxi is too small to see the open Paul Reed there, can't really find a passing angle to him. What he should probably do here is quickly swing the ball to Kelly Oubre, who can either attack Luka Doncic's closeout or pass to Paul when he has the open crease, but instead Maxi tries to force a pass over Josh Green and commits a turnover. Double drag again, but this time Josh Green goes over and Maxi Kleba is again up to see Maxi, and Maxi kind of just gets into his ISO bag here and tries to shoot over two defenders. Don't love the kind of headstrong decision making here, but also Daniel House is not a very reliable roller or spot up shooter, so I get it. Same coverage here again from the Mavericks, but Paul Reed doesn't really make himself very helpful to Maxi. He turns his head late, isn't readily available in a rolling pocket, and Maxi, again overwhelmed by the size, kind of has to contort his body when throwing it back to Daniel House, and the pass is a little off target. This is a schematic decision by Nick Nurse and the Sixers, where Maxi's screener rolls to the free throw line area while the opposite wing lifts up near half court to be his outlet valve. Maxi either can't see over the defenders to make the pass to the roller or is just not comfortable giving Mo Bamba a 4-on-3, which I understand, although this possession works out because Kelly Oubre makes a great drive and finish. Maxi's rollers can also be a bit predictable. Marcus Morris, for example, has a wide open lane to roll to the free throw line here, but just pops anyways and gives the Mavs an easy switch. But Maxi does punish some help from Tim Hardaway and Tobias attacks the closeout well for a bucket. In general, Maxi is always a better pick and roll passer whenever he makes his decision earlier instead of dragging it out. This time, before he even uses the screen, he sees Grant Williams helping over and immediately kicks to Pat Bev, who attacks the closeout and scores on a floater. When Maxi's facing this much defensive pressure, he prefers to throw these quicker perimeter passes instead of trying to thread the needle on tough pocket passes. Look here how Luka Doncic is helping over, and Maxi quickly swings to Jaden Springer to attack a closeout. Now, Maxi got off to a good start in the second half, first blown by a lazy Luka Doncic who is not ready to meet him at the ball screen, and then the next time down, Josh Green is trying to cheat this ball screen, so Maxi rejects it, and again, it's another open layup for him, so the Mavericks quickly change their coverage. Maxi comes off a dribble handoff here, and again, I don't like how Paul Reed is just floating into no man's land. He should be up closer near the free throw line and closer to Maxi's passing angles. So again, Maxi just finds Tobias Harris once Derek Jones stunts, and Toby is able to attack the closeout for a bucket. Here, Maxi would have an open Kelly Oubre on a skip pass, but Maxi just isn't much of an improvisational passer. He's already decided that he wants to beat Maxi Kleba to the rim here, and it doesn't work out for him. While Maxi is a limited passer, his non Joel Embiid teammates don't do a lot to help him either. Here, Maxi has Derek Jones beat, and if Paul Reed just pops to the three point line, he has space to attack Luka, but Paul is just completely oblivious to what's happening and rolls into Maxi's space, crowding him and making the shot harder. Morris and Bamba commit the cardinal sin of off ball players here by lining up flat over top of each other so Luka can guard both of them. One of them should cut closer toward Maxi to draw in Luka and make that pop pass open, and then when Maxi gets the ball back again, look how predictable Morris is and how Kyrie is already rotating up to take away his three-point shot on the pop, because the Mavericks know exactly what these non-Maxi players do. Opponents have to double and blitz Maxi because he's so good at punishing switches and early nail help, like he does here with Kyrie, who stunts at him and it's a quick three for Kelly Oubre. And on this play, when Maxi gets two to the ball, he has Mo Bamba open in the short roll, but again, prefers attacking the help he sees on the side and gives his teammate a closeout to attack. And you can see this pattern over and over again where Maxi feels his defender going over and is met at the screen level by the other defender and quickly gets off the ball by flipping it to his right to whichever teammate is nearest to him so they can attack a closeout. But I can't blame Maxi for too many of his passing decisions given what his teammates have been doing around him. Look here how he's getting blitzed at half court and Paul Reed just has no idea what's going on. Never turns his head around to find his point guard, just wandering aimlessly out there, completely kills the Sixers half court possession. Or even when his teammates make good plays, like Jaden Springer does here, setting a good screen, rolling into open space, looking back at Maxi to see the pass, but even when you give Jaden Springer the ball in an advantageous position, there's no guarantee that he's going to do something good with it. The Sixers are in a tough spot without Joel Embiid. Maxi is limited as a passer, and his teammates aren't doing much at all to help him when he's facing these aggressive defenses, so the Sixers might need a few Maxi hero performances to survive these next few months without their MVP.